Hey guys, this is Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a little TBC housekeeping. So, at some point, I want to do a little video series on file audits and file cleanups for survey projects. Uh, we're not going to do that today, but this is this is a topic on a similar theme. So, what you see there on the screen is uh, the TBC folder. For one of my projects and it's a mess so this is not what you want to see uh, when you uh, when you open a <laughs> a TBC folder um, so we want to try and clean this up so let me explain uh, what bothers me about this uh, and then we'll 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 get it cleaned up here in the next few minutes so the first problem is uh, we've got duplicate folders here so i got two TBC working files with different dates. I've got a, two copies of a network uh, project folder, a, a network, and then a network version 2. And then I've got two TBC working copies. I've got uh, one on the 9th, December 9th, called TBC working, and one on the 10th called TBC working copy. This is really sloppy. We didn't even version it. We just copied the folder. Um, then this is this is me uh, misbehaving here. This is my fault. We've got this clean for Starnet export project folder, and then in the same folder we also have the folders that go in the template. Um, so these folders should be inside of these folders, uh, essentially. So this thing is a disaster. <laughs> so. What we should really see when we get in here is we should see just one network project and one working project, the most current. And so I want to teach you guys how to clean this up. So one thing that, that we do that I've learned to do and that a lot of companies are good about is you don't delete stuff, you archive stuff because we, we don't know what might be important. So I can see somebody's already started an archive folder here and uh, there's a file in it dated the 27th. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder with yesterday's date uh, that we're going to move this into. And then I'm going to create another folder with today's date. And uh, we're going to archive. Uh, we're going to put our stuff in this folder here. So what, what I like to see when I open an archive folder is I like to see a folder with the date that the files got archived. So I'm going to make some assumptions here. Uh, which can be dangerous, but that's why we're not deleting stuff. I'm going to assume that the stuff with the older dates is uh, less current, so an older date or a version number. I'm going to come back to this one because this is this is a problem. And I know I can archive this. I should have done that already. This is a project that I made to clean stuff up before I exported to Starnet. So we're just going to cut these, and we're going to go into the archive folder that we created. All right, so... Uh, we're a little bit cleaner now, uh, but what we have here is we've got these these two projects, and I've actually already opened this, and I know that actually the file dated the 9th is more current than this one, so I'm going to cut this one, and we're going to get rid of it. We're going to dump it in that same archive folder. Okay, so we're a little bit cleaner now, but what I should really see when I open this, when I open these folders, um, I don't want to see... So TBC creates a folder that files live in, and that's what these folders are. Uh, but that's not what I want. When I open this, I want to see my stand my standard set of TBC files. It's like we didn't even use the template on these. This is just really messy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to create those right now. So I usually uh, create a folder called TBC files, and that's where I put all this stuff that lives as part of the TBC project. And then I have my other standard folders. So I have an import folder. I have an export folder. And I usually have a reports folder. Okay, so this is what the folder should look like when you open it. So TBC. I also don't use all caps on folder names. That's just my convention here. File names are all caps. Folder names are title case. I just noticed this is that um, 1127. 
folder that needs to get archived. So I'm actually going to put that in the first archive folder. Because that's where that project was dumped. So that should stay together. <clears throat> okay, so we're almost there. We've got one network folder and one working folder, which is what we want under my system. Uh, but let's go ahead. We need to clean these files up. So we're going to go ahead and do We're going to create our standard set of files or folders. I'm sorry. So it's TBC files, everything that TBC keeps with the VCE file, we're going to dump in there. And then we'll create our new folders. Um, and you don't have to do this if, if my guys were using the templates. I'm not pointing fingers at anybody, but if they were using the, the TBC folder template, we wouldn't be having this problem. These uh, folders would already be present. Okay, so that's what a TBC project should look like when I open the folder. Export, import, reports, TBC files. This is the dump for all the files that TBC is keeping. And just so you guys know, it, it keeps a copy of all your imported files. So these are Rhinox files, these, these uh, 19.0, these SP3 or ephemeris files. Okay, and then it auto-generates some of these files, like these session files here. I don't want to see those. <laughs> That's why I put them in here. And uh, that the VCE file should also go uh, should also go in here. All right, so let's grab that VCE file, which is this one, and I'm going to rename it. I can't rename it because I've got this this one. Ah, uh, let's get rid of these. So we got to grab all these these files that are junk. Uh, the eleven twenty seven I'm going to put in this first folder because that's when it got archived. Put it in the 28 folder. And then uh, these will go in this folder. All right. Okay, now I can rename this. So I don't want to see VCE. When I open Control TBC, I don't want to see VCE files in here. These need to go in the project folder in the TBC file folder. Okay. Okay, this working copy I know is, is junk. So this is going to get put in the archive. Okay, now we're going to clean up this working folder. So what this should say is TBC files. And then all these should go in here. Okay, then we'll create that standard set of folders. So import, export, and reports. Oop. Okay, so we're almost there. Uh, I've got these. This is kind of junk from the original TBC template that got put over here. Um, and this is the VC file for that Starnet export project. So I'm going to just cut these, drop them in the archive. And I'm not renaming anything or cleaning anything up in the archive. Like that's, if you want to go in and get something out of the archive, you got to figure that out on your own. All right, so ideally I wouldn't have an archive folder in here, but I do. Not a big deal. But when I open TBC, uh, I should only see, you know, what I, what I mainly want to see is these two folders, a network and a working. We don't always have a network. Sometimes we just have a working uh, but I shouldn't see multiple TBC projects in here. So if we if we version something or you know if we've made a version of something or we updated something on a on a new date, that's okay. I don't mind when my guys do that. But then they need to create an archive and archive the older version because it's really easy to go into an older TBC file if you don't know what you're doing and grab the wrong friggin' data. So I'm gonna go ahead and date these today's date since this is the day I'm doing the cleanup. Okay, so this is what I want to see. Network project, working project. Okay, and when I come in here to network, this is what I want to see in the TBC folder. I want to see these standard folders, export, import, reports, TBC files. That's what I click to activate the project. Okay, same thing. Working, export, import, report, TBC file. Come in here. That activates the TBC project. Okay. Now, I'm going to teach you... I'm actually going to do another video. We're going to go into this working project file, and I'm going to show you another pet peeve of mine that has to do with TBC housekeeping. But 
Uh, that was I know that was slightly painful, but uh, what I want to see when I come in here to survey control TBC, this is it. I shouldn't see a bunch of VCE files or a bunch of folders with with multiple copies of this of the network or working project. I should just see one folder for the current network project, one folder for the current working project. All right, guys, thanks for watching that video. We'll do one more, and I'll I'll show you how to clean up another pet peeve of mine in the TBC working project. Thanks for watching.